Let's talk about power. Let's talk about stroom. All right, power. Power is the most important thing in your Eurorack modular system. When your power sucks, you will hear it through your modules. That's why we here at Coma have decided to make a full new power solution for your modular case. We call it stroom. Stroom consists out of three different modules. We have the normal basic Strom, we have the Strom Plus that has a current sensing technology, so you can see in the LEDs, you know, how much you still have left on your rails, and a passive module, which you can use to daisy chain different skiffs with one another. So you just need one of these, and a few of these, and your whole system is up and running. Safety is everything and that's why we built a bunch of safety features in the Strom already. The most important one is the short circuit protection. The Strom checks all the rails all the time to make sure if, that everything is good. If it detects a fault, it will shut down automatically. You take the power brake out and then you can just continue your business of making great music. It looks a bit like this. Here we have a case with the Strom. Strom is on and it goes via this passive module here to this bus board. Let's try it out. Whoa. Module switched off. Take out the power, switch it off, plug it back in and voila, it works again. Another protection that we have built in is the internal fuse. If you look at the modules, right here is a fuse box built in. Once something really terrible happens to your system, the fuse will break you take the panel off, replace it with the new fuse that we already put in the parcel, and you can continue making music. An extra feature of the Power Plus module, the one we have over here, is that it can uh, sense current. This means that when you are reaching the limit of your three rails, these LEDs will go orange, then red, and then you know that you have to buy another power supply or be less addicted. Okay, something else we want to show you is Ripple. Hi, I'm Christian and I'm here today to talk about Ripple. Ugh, that sounds nasty, huh? That's what Ripple does to your sound. So when designing a power supply, you want it to produce as little background noise of its own as you possibly can. And this is what you call Ripple. Ripple is the leftover background noise from the switching frequency that you can hear in your sound. Let's check it out on the oscilloscope. On the left hand side, we have a power module of a different manufacturer. And as you can see, it produces a waveform of uh, around 100 millivolts peak to peak on the power rail that will be audible through your audio chips. And on the right hand side, we have the Coma Electronic Strom power module that produces a significantly less audible waveform of around 35 millivolts peak to peak 
and is therefore much quieter than the other power module. Back to the ripples of space and time now.